What up, what up? Hey guys, it's Chris. Um, so on this one, I wanted to show you another awesome feature of beautiful soup. It's going to make your parsing, your scraping, whatever you want to call it, a lot easier. It's a lot easier than using regular expressions. It can handle broken HTML, which is um, surprising, but a good amount of websites out there actually have broken HTML, you know, proper or improper closing tags, things like that, that can... Uh, break your parsing and regular using just regular expressions. So um, you can save yourself a huge headache by not dealing with that. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, we have, let's go ahead and erase some of this stuff that we had before. And here's where we were finding all the P tags. Um, now we can do something like uh, body, let me see something here. We're going to copy and paste some code that I have here. So let's just say body and there's some text that I have that works pretty well with uh, something like Wikipedia. And we had parsed the Bayside Wikipedia page. So if I type that in again, here, the, here it is. And we can see here, let's go ahead and say that we want to grab the, um, let's just say years active, I guess. So, or no, you know, let's just go with origin. So, we can go ahead and look for origin. So, we're saying soup.find text equals origin. And then we say find the next TD tag. So, it's not always going to be a TD tag that you're looking for. But when you, if you're using Chrome, you can inspect the element. And you can see that. We're finding origin, and then we're saying find the next TD class. Now, there's A tags buried in here, and the text is between A tags. But if you just grab the next TD and just look for the text, it will find what it is that you're looking for. So it'll say find next TD. So we can go ahead and output. Let's outfile, outfile.write like we've done before, and we'll say body.text, which will be a string. And it, and it should be... Um, the origin, which is Bayside, Queens, New York City. So let's go ahead and see if this works. We'll run it. And then we'll pull this up. Queens, New York, United States. Boom. Just like that. Boom, boom, boom. So you guys can uh, get a lot of stuff done. You can scrape the hell out of some pages, and uh, that'll be pretty good. So just play around with Beautiful Soup. I probably will do more tutorials on that in the future. But um, for right now, I think the next thing that I'm going to move on to is um, in the near future, I don't know if it's going to be the next video, but we're going to work on how to fill out forms in, in Python so that you can scrape pages that require logins before. And then um, I'm also going to be adding a series on how to scrape Ajax. And Ajax can be a real bitch when it comes to trying to get some information that you need to get uh, because sometimes, you know, the, the easiest and sometimes the only way to grab it is by really not just replicating the user agent like we do here when we say we're a Mozilla browser. We have to actually use the browser to pull up the web page and allow the Ajax and JavaScript to load and execute in order to be able to retrieve data that we're looking for. So. Uh, there are some modules already built out there that make that a lot easier to deal with, and I'll teach you guys how to do that. Um, and once you're able to scrape data like this, I mean, you know, the sky's the limit as to what you want to do with it. I mean, keep in mind that uh, data is you know, proprietary. You can't just steal people's data, but you can, um, you know, use that data to kind of create your own unique uh, website. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, essentially... Uh, there's nothing difference between having a program scrape this data and then having to manually do it. I mean, um, so I'm not really sure what the legal implications are there, but uh, you know, that's not that'll be your concern, I guess, if uh, if you're scraping the data. But to be honest with you, everybody does it, and there's really no way to prove it. So anyway, I'll kill this video now, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye.